Sustainability is a concept that is around 300 years old. It was invented by a forest man in Germany, and he understood very clearly, I only ca can cut so many trees, as many as I will plant again for the next generation. So it was very simple, 300 years, it needed to be in the heart of our economic uh, uh, actions. Definitely a key role in the sustainable movement plays the most dominant institutions of our time, this is the business community. We can welcome now two persons on stage who are coming from the most wonderful place on the planet, with the most beautiful trees, with the most beautiful nature resources. These two Kiwis from New Zealand, and these two personalities are really brave because they come on stage, talk to you as a banker. And to go on stage in these days as a banker and talk about sustainability is really brave. They ask me, they ask me, if you straw tomatoes, straw it low so they can jump over it. So welcome on stage, Aiden Gant and Farrah Wells. Thank you, Hans. Being in business today is a privilege, not a right. Aidan and I are from New Zealand and are both proud to work for Westpac Bank. We are one of the five largest companies in Australasia and have a presence in four continents. Sustainability is crucial to our operating model. New Zealand has one of the most open economies in the world. All businesses, including agriculture, receive no government assistance. So when we talk sustainability in New Zealand, it needs to be a strategy that is commercially viable and without the help of government or subsidies. New Zealand is an export-driven economy. Our two largest industries are agriculture and tourism, and they are a real dichotomy. Agriculture accounts for half of the GDP of the New Zealand economy, yet tourists come to New Zealand to see vast areas of unique, unspoilt landscape. What a great challenge. This to us is the essence of sustainable development. And as the leaders of tomorrow, we need to use the tools at our disposal to keep this balance in place. I was born and bred on a dairy farm and am proud to be a part owner of a farm. We supply dairy nutrition to the world. New Zealand farmers must run their farms as a business and stay competitive with the rest of the world, most of whom are heavily subsidised. Above all, we act as custodians of the land for the generations which follow us. I'm involved in the Young Farmers Network. From being placed the fifth best young farmer in New Zealand in 2009, to now encouraging and promoting sustainable farming practices with our young farmers. By promoting, by empowering the youth involved in our farming businesses who tend to have heightened environmental awareness, we are able to stay one step ahead of the game. By empowering these youth, they are able to affect more change on the farms than the older farm owners. Our generation are tomorrow's consumers and buying sustainable goods and services should be non-negotiable. I challenge you to use this as one of your tools to affect change. Within Westpac, Farah and I have been involved with our revised sustainability strategy. The leadership group I am a part of is responsible for the design, implementation and monitoring of our strategy. In particular, the economic solutions to environmental challenges. I'm currently the only young person on this leadership group. As a bank, we will continue to build on our operational sustainability foundations, which include such things as reduced paper usage and eco-lighting, and are moving to lead in the area of organisational sustainability, focusing on our role as a financial institution, addressing emerging social and economic challenges. This has ranged from promoting financial literacy for both businesses and the average household with burgeoning debt to incentivising who and how we bank. 
With industries such as logging in the Pacific Islands, which can be unsustainable, we are actively ceasing to bank these industries. When we support a sustainable business, a sustainable society will naturally follow. Organisational sustainability must be driven by the youth. It is our tomorrow. We need to take ownership of the issues that will affect our generation and start creating commercially viable solutions. Government-driven solutions have continuously proven ineffective as they create onerous costs for short-term results. Market-driven solutions will be more enduring and successfully change behaviours. The manner in which companies make a profit has a huge impact on our communities and the planet. A profit taken at the cost of the planet is not a repeatable profit. Organisations will need to address their operational and organisational sustainability issues if they're going to retain their customers into the future. The world economy is still hemorrhaging and that does make the immediate challenge greater. Without commercial buy-in, sustainability issues will not receive priority, nor will the impacts of business on society truly be acknowledged. Business needs to put their money where their mouth is. However, we must show them what can be achieved by doing this. It is our future. We need to take control of our issues and drive changes. So what can you do to start affecting change? For us, it was firstly important to have ability and credibility within our day jobs. Opportunities naturally arose as a result of this. When we got the opportunities to be heard by senior management, it was crucial that we had valid and constructive points. Lobbying without any valid commercial reasoning won't get you anywhere. For you, it's firstly important you need to establish credibility with your peers and management by understanding the importance of commercial viability. Secondly, use your networks to develop and promote your ideas. And finally, as the youth in an organisation, promote this as one voice. You can't lose sight of the fact that without a commercial framework, you will not get management buy-in. It is crucial that we, as the youth, drive this change. Our tomorrow is too important not to. The journey to true sustainability is not an easy one, and we definitely do not have all the answers. But for me, being involved in a working group dedicated to driving change and who value the input of youth is encouraging. It has shown us that very large companies are willing to embrace the views of youth and that we can affect change. Go home and challenge your organisations to follow this example. Being in business today is a privilege, not a right.